Hi, I'm teacher Phoebe and today I'll be demonstrating an activity using the intentional teaching card M37 secret numbers. And the objective is to use number concepts and operations. So let's get started. So the materials we will be using are numeral and quantitative cards from one to three. And um, I went ahead and I drew these myself. So you can um, draw them or you can print them out from the computer, whatever is easier for you. During this activity, we will be covering cognitive development, math, physical development, and language. Because of the physical development, since we're gonna be using our bodies, um, this activity is better done in a rug area or in an open space area. So now let's go over the activity. Okay, so the first step is to um, introduce your students to the cards and let them know that you're gonna be playing a game using these three cards. So first, the first thing you do is you put them face down and then you mix them around. And then you go ahead and sing a song. And the song goes like this. I have a secret number, what could it be? I'm ready to show you, are you ready to see? And then you go ahead and flip a card. <gasps> and you can ask your student, what number is this? Do you know? And if they're having trouble, you can always go ahead and whisper the number three. So if you pause, wait for them to answer. And if they answer, great. If not, then you can go ahead and say the number three. And then you ask your student, let's count. And prompt them or help them or you can model for them to count the dots. So let's say, let's count. And we start counting or the student starts counting. One, two, three, the number three. After you've counted the card number, you go ahead and ask your, stu your student, okay, now let's clap three times. One, two, three, yay! So you continue this game and then you can ask them, okay, let's, we can sit down. And you continue to sing the song and flip the card. And you can um, count the numbers using the dots. And you can use different um, physical movements like you can ask your student to jump two times, clap two times, touch their head, tap their knee, or stretch. Whatever activity you think your students will be interested in. And that's it for this activity. One way to adapt this activity is to create raised or textured numerical dots for students that need that te tactile input. So right here are a few examples. For this one, what I did is that I put glue and you let it dry and it will be a little raised once it's dry. For this one, I used a candy wrapper and you can use fabric so it's soft or you have different textures. Um, for this one, I used Velcro. And for the fourth dot here, what I did is that I grabbed a water bottle cap and I taped it. And if you can see, it's raised and it's big. And that's it for this um, activity and the adaptation. And always remember to let your parents know that they can use anything available to adapt the activity that's at home. Thank you for watching.